Hello everyone. This is a video, hopefully explaining to everyone how to record a Zoom meeting. So this is how we record the Unitarian Church of Edmonton Sunday services. But you can use the same method to record any Zoom meeting. So when you wiggle the mouse around, you will see record. So I'm not going to start recording until we are ready to begin the service. I have made sure that the person that's going to be sharing slides is a co-host, so we'll be able to share slides. So let's see, they should start sharing their screen right away. There we go, we see it. And this is the way I have my screen set up. So I can adjust it, but I leave my screen set up so the speaker is the only one in the, in the image there, not the whole gallery. And I have the screen so it is large with the slides. So I am now, looks like we're ready for the service. I'm going to hit record. So now the service leader would begin the service and it will record the service. Obviously, we're not going to record a whole service for this example, but you get an example of a couple couple minutes here. So let's see what happens when the person sharing the screen stops sharing the screen now. There we go, and it's back to the speaker. You can see my whole screen on this recording, but at the end, will show an example of what was just recorded for the Zoom recording. I'm going to hit stop. See right here it says the recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. So let's end the meeting and see what happens. We get a message saying convert meeting recording. So on a Sunday service, because they're much longer and have more music and more data, they take quite a long time to convert, which of course depends on the speed of your computer. I have an old computer, so it takes about an hour to convert. I leave the meeting, I start the converting, and then I move on with my life and do other things. I can still do things on the computer, but generally I walk away and go grab lunch or something. So it automatically sets it up to record to your computer. You can see the path where it records. If you look, it shows the date and the time and the name of the meeting. It makes it much easier to find. Okay, so now we need to find that again. I've gone into my documents. There's my See, there's my documents. I open up the Zoom folder. There we go. How to record on Zoom. That's the file I'm looking for. So now what I need to do is, here's my Google Drive. So you will get a link and have permission to be able to share and upload. What I do is click New. I'm uploading the whole folder, not just the file, but the whole folder. Folder Upload. Again, it's gone into the documents, the Zoom folder. And here we are, how to record on Zoom. That was the name. Going to click on it and then upload. Yes, I trust it. So I'm uploading the whole thing. So initially it said 44 minutes to upload that. Well, it realized it's a much smaller file. So it uploaded pretty fast. But again, a whole Sunday service can take much longer to do. So just do it and then go on with your life. And then it's here for people to use to upload to YouTube and SoundCloud and all that fun stuff and share on Facebook. Uh, I hope that helps everyone. If you have any questions, please contact me or put comments in the YouTube comment section. Thanks. Record. Now the service leader would begin the service. 
and it will record the service. Obviously, we're not going to record a whole service for this example, but you get an example of a couple, couple minutes here. So let's see what happens when the person sharing the screen stops sharing the screen now. There we go. And it's back to the speaker. You can see my whole screen on this recording, but at the end, we'll show an example of what was just recorded for the Zoom recording. I'm going to hit